Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to be discussing the Behaviors tab. And you'll notice that Camtasia will give you the opportunity to cause your entire video to behave in certain ways. And it's an interesting feature to use, but where it's especially used is when you are having an opening sequence. But for the sake of example, let's take a look to see what these behaviors actually do. When we pick a place on the timeline, and let's move the cursor all the way back to the beginning, what we can do is we can drag the behavior that we're looking for, and we can test all of these. We can test all of them by hovering over them to see what they're going to look like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag one of the behaviors onto the canvas. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to click the play button so we can see what our screen is actually going to do and what the viewer is going to see. As you'll notice, this element has properties. So we can control what happens at the beginning, we can control what happens during the middle, and control what happens during the end. And we can set different aspects of the behavior of our screen. So once again, we're going to go back here to the beginning. And instead of the drifting timeline, we're going to use the fade behavior and drag that into our box. So we're going to take a look at what this is going to actually look like. So you'll see the fade in and fade out. So let's take a look again. Once again, we can control this using the properties and take a look to see what's actually going to happen. This sample presentation, we'll start with the slide presentation from the beginning. And we'll so as you can tell, what the behaviors do is they give us a different element for us to be able to give our viewer some variety in seeing our video. Now, the key to understanding how to use these behaviors is to monitor how they look on the timeline, is to use the properties button. If you don't want one there, you can just X out of it. And then to drag them from the behavior section into the canvas. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.